I will explain the procedure for disassembly and maintenance of piston and connecting rod. Prepare the exclusive tools for disassembly of the piston. It starts from removing the piston. Leave the cylinder head open beforehand. Remove the protection ring before pulling out the piston. Turn the flywheel and set the piston at a position of about 80 to 90 degrees before TDC. Attach the liner supporting tool and spacer. Fix them with the tightening nuts of cylinder head. Place on the top of the piston the protection ring drawing out tool with the large diameter of taper part up. Remove the protection ring while turning the flywheel slowly. Remove the disassembling tools and the detached protection ring. Eliminate the carbon from the upper part of cylinder liner. Make a good condition in order to pull out the piston smoothly. Now, we proceed to the work for pulling out the piston. After putting the tap on the top of piston, screw the lifting eye bolt into the piston and stretch a wire. Loosen the bolts of connecting rod with the specified disassembling tool and remove the bolts and metal cap. Lift the piston by 20 to 30 millimeters. Remove the upper metal. Then lift the piston. Clean the cylinder liner after lifting the piston. Also, measure the inside diameter of cylinder liner according to the instruction manual. Measure the inside diameter of cylinder liner with the specified measuring tool. Use the measuring tool of inside diameter position to measure the specified measuring position in the two directions respectively. Remove the piston pin from the removed piston for check and maintenance. Firstly, remove the piston pin circlips by pliers.
attach the piston pin while supporting the connecting rod. Secondly, remove the piston ring. Turn over the piston and detach the cover of piston cooling chamber. Check and maintain the removed parts. Firstly, eliminate the carbon deposited on the outside of piston and the scale in cooling chamber. Secondly, check the piston by penetrate test for cracks on its top surface and ring groove. If any of them are found with abnormal state, change the parts. Measure the dimension of each piston part and of the piston pin according to the instruction manual. If any of them are used beyond the usage limit, change the parts. Check the connecting rod. Check first the contact and looseness in fit of piston pin metals. And also check the condition of crank pin metal. Check the contact on the rear and mating surface of each metal and also check for seizure and embedded foreign matters on the sliding surface of each metal. Check for cracks, wear and scratch on the serration mating surface of big end and bolts of connecting rod. To prevent the bolts from being broken due to fatigue, replace them about every 20,000 hours even if their appearance is normal. Measure each part of the connecting rod according to the instruction manual. If any of them are used beyond the usage limit, change the parts. I will explain the procedure for angle tightening and stamping the set mark for the connecting rod bolt. The connecting rod bolts of this engine are tightened by angle tightening method. The mark indicating the specified angle, 120 degrees, and the set mark are stamped on the connecting rod and the connecting rod bolt respectively. When disassembling a connecting rod, make sure to re-stamp the set mark. Apply the lube oil and Protec grease to the connecting rod bolts. Install the metal cap while the crank pin metals are not fitted and screw the bolt to its seating by hand. By using the torque wrench, tighten the bolt by the torque shown on the video. Stamp a temporary set mark on the side of the bolt collar, aligning with the set mark at the point A on the connecting rod. At this time, delete the old mark. Tighten until the set mark on the side of the bolt and B mark of the connecting rod are aligned. Stamp the set mark on the side of the bolt collar aligning with the set mark at the point B on the connecting rod. After finishing the check and maintenance, exchange the necessary parts and assemble the piston and the connecting rod. Put the cover on the piston cooling chamber. At this time, fit its hole on the top of piston at the marking side, pump side. Renew the bolt and Belleville spring and then tighten them. A 
Assemble the piston ring. Incorporate the oil ring with its coil joint shifted 180 degrees from its cut. Be careful not to mistake a setting order of second ring and top ring. Incorporate the piston rings with their marked sides facing upwards and their cuts shifted 120 degrees from those of adjacent rings. Incorporate the piston and the connecting rod while aligning their set marks to each other and inserting the piston pin. At this time, incorporate the piston pin circlip with its opening facing straight down. Set the crank pin metals on the connecting rod and metal cap. At this time, don't apply the lube oil on the rear of the crank pin metals. Screw the lifting eye bolt into the piston and lift it. Install the piston and the connecting rod into the engine. As the preparation, apply lube oil on the piston, cylinder liner and crankshaft after installing the piston guide. Install the piston. At this time, align the set mark on the top of the piston with the fuel injection pump side. Insert the piston while tapping the piston with a resin hammer. Apply lube oil to the screw of connecting rod bolt and protect grease to the seating. Agree the set mark of metal cap with the set mark of connecting rod body. Fit the metal cap and then tighten the bolts. The connecting rod bolts are tightened by angle tightening method. Tighten the upper and lower bolts alternately in three steps to the punch mark confirmed in advance. After tightening, check the side motion of connecting rod. If it doesn't move, reassemble it. Finally, assemble the protection ring by hand.